Hello everyone, welcome back to the final holiday vlog. Um, I have skipped a day in case anybody is curious, so I skipped Thursday, which is technically day five. Um, I also look decent today. I don't know whether that's a coincidence or whether it's just because I haven't been worried about filming so much that I've looked slightly nicer because <laughs> I've taken more time for my appearance. Goodness knows. Anyway, yes, I took a day off today because it's very full on, um, obviously for my parents and stuff, like filming all the time. And I just wanted to take a day to like fully enjoy the holiday. But I'm going to vlog the final three days and this will make up this vlog. So yes, I'm very excited. It's market day tomorrow, um, which there's a big market in Puerto Magan um, here and it basically spreads across like the whole village. Um, I am glad to say finally on day five slash six I've got the breakfast down to a fine art. It's taken ages but I've got something that lasts me all day is not too much and satisfies the cravings. <laughs> Our room number is very easy to remember because it's uh, yours truly's birth year. Did you enjoy your roller coaster bus ride again? Yes. <laughs> the bus was so the bus was so so busy, but I've achieved my mission of market, which was to get a handbag that was slightly bigger than the one I've got back home. It's just black again because black goes with everything. So, yeah. actually gives me anxiety when my mum stops and touches things because they immediately like go you buy you buy or they start like showing an interest for you to buy it I just walk right by but I do observe so that if I'm wanting to buy something do you know what I mean I see it and then I cautiously approach them rather than just going up and touching it which is what my mum does and I'm like oh my god just keep walking Catherine just keep walking so this trainer, I'm pretty sure it's giving me a blister because as you can see the sock is too far down. So yeah, that should be fun later on, but it's fine. Just go and swim and then sleep out. I think the plan is, is to have like a heavier meal here after we're done at the market and then just have snacks later on, which is more my sort of evening, just chilling, playing sims and more enjoying the hotel room because we haven't really done that we've been out and about or at the pool or whatever so yeah the market is done i did my first bargaining thing of uh, 28 euro it was meant to be 50 i got it down to 28 quite proud of myself um but there will be a haul coming later on in this little series and i will show you everything that i've bought on this holiday Roasting hot, we're all sweaty, sweaty, oh. and we're on our mad roller coaster bus ride again. Going up for a little swim before our typical British picky bits for dinner. I'm actually quite looking forward to it because I'm not fancying a whole meal. It's ice cream time. We've been waiting to do this all holiday. The ice cream counter in the supermarket in the hotel. What flavour are you getting? I don't know. You don't know. Well, I'll predict what one when we go in. I'm going to get chocolate and some form of Oreo, or what's the fancy name for it? You know, the Sissa Sissa. Strata or something. Yeah, that one. Chocolate and Oreo in the one cone. It's going to drip everywhere. And you ended up going for a toffee biscuity thing. Cocktail word of the night. I must say, it's a little bit burny on the throat. Me and Neve tried to make them and they were really strong, so I'm hoping the strawberry dakiri or whatever you call it, 
um, afterwards is slightly better. Also, I managed to sort out all my clothes, so I've just got tomorrow during the day, tomorrow slash Sunday swimming, um, tomorrow night and travelling home Sunday outfit out. Feeling a lot more organised now. I've also put away all my notebooks and stuff just to make my room feel a little bit neater. Okay, so this strip is where I had my wristband, so that's the colour I came and then that's the colour my skin is now. So ghostly Catherine has got a bit of a tan, sunburn, whatever. I find more red bits today. I seem to burn way more than I tan, like I haven't got a tan whatsoever. So we love that. So I would highly recommend The Anatomy of Scandal. It did really, really frustrate me because you know how a storyline sort of just woven in and you like know the answer before it gets to the verdict which is it's like a court thing well it's like that that program and it boiled rage i was like that's the wrong outcome but don't worry last episode starts it uh basically no. Okay, so for the last full day's outfit, ignore my hair, I've just gone up, um, it's this sort of blue top. I love how, no matter what size I am, it always seems to fit me. And then I haven't worn these shorts yet, so I just wore them, but... We're in a hat to uh, hide my extremely bad here do today. I love that it's not as glamorous as that one. If it blows in the wind, mine doesn't. It just looks like it's about to fall. Sunburn is starting to peel, which means that this whole leg is really itchy. Really itchy. And obviously, when something's itchy, you're not meant to scratch. But hey ho, it is absolutely boiling it's today as well, which does not help. It's been dead skin. Has yours started to peel yet? Oh, no, it's just peeling a bit in the Watch, you'll be like below the bear, going up against a palm tree. Itching his back. Blue, the bear from the Jungle Book, by the way, if you've never seen it. <sighs> I'm sitting scratching and stop scratching. One thing about Scottish folk on holiday is we shout English if someone doesn't understand us and it's clear that like shouting it isn't going to make them understand anymore. But it's just a natural instinct. So you just look like a complete nutter idiot and I've just done it. Pool time, still look like a lobster, even on the last day. I just think that's my holiday look, a lobster. Watch this, I'll be the next lobster curled over the red lobster car. You'll get that reference if you've ever been to Florida. Anyway, pool time, because it's roasting hot, apparently. I wouldn't know, because I haven't been outside all afternoon. So it is a couple of hours later now, and... I'm in such a strange mood. For anybody who knows me, they know I love my food. But um, yeah, the thought of like actually eating a meal or even a plate full of chips is just, um, I can't bear it. So I don't know what I'm going to do because obviously my mum and dad want to go out for dinner, eat a proper meal. It's our last night and going to our Ginnigan or however you pronounce it, we've been pronouncing it wrong the whole entire holiday. Spanish folk just look at us and be like So it's quite embarrassing, but yeah, I just I don't I don't feel like it. I'm I'm not feeling it. This is when you know the holiday's at an end when your wardrobe is empty. I've been dragged out for dinner by this one. Yes, and Surfers are out again. You threatened me. You came up and went, Right, that's it. That's it. Me and you are finished. He says it all the time. Again. Uh, last ever night in Gran Canaria, ever. 
we've been never here. Seen her. No, but we've been here five times. I mean, come on, like there's it's only so much of one island you can take. So, I tried to rugby tackle people in the pool today. It wasn't. It wasn't appreciated. Not in an inappropriate way, but I just I swam underwater. Shark. But I'm not very subtle. I'm a great white shark or whatever the biggest shark is. So this is me all packed basically to go home. Um, I brought this handbag with me because I was like, right, if I don't use it on holiday, I'm never going to use it. But I just never have it sitting out. Red is a very difficult colour to match. So give me the opinions on the handbag, please. Um, but I managed to eat some grilled chicken and some chips, just no dips, nothing like that. Just really plain. Um, I do feel slightly better for it, but yeah, I'm gonna go and have my last snack plate of the holiday just now and the diet. Good morning, everyone. It's hardly good morning, it's nearly lunchtime, but yeah, just wanted to have a chill morning without the camera, eat breakfast, and um, I was playing Sims yet again. It's just, I finally got a game that's like satisfying, haven't had that in a long time, so I'm making the most of it. Anyway, we're going a walk along the beach and dipping our toes in the sea again this morning. And we've got our room until we depart, leave at like 7 tonight. Our flight isn't until 10 o'clock. We don't arrive until half two in the morning tomorrow. And I won't be in my bed until 4 o'clock in the morning. So I'm really not looking forward to that. <coughs> Pardon me. But it is what it is. And I'm glad that I've got like an extra day here because we arrived late at night last summer. This resort is very good by the way, it's in a bit of an undeveloped area but I think it makes it more authentic not being in a tourist resort. So yes, I would highly recommend, obviously a bit more on the pricey side, but it's these two dafties who are paying for it, not me, so haha. <laughs> Here is my lunch, the healthiest lunch in the world. I got another one of these which you will recognise from another video, just because. And I haven't had one of these in ages, so... It is now nap time of the day. The biggest decision for me is whether to nap outside or nap inside. There are some very loud Spanish women next door, so I think it'll be inside. Um, top tip, never have twins if you can avoid it on Sims because it is a nightmare. Look at the number of five cents and two cents you have left over. There's no point in breaking notes, just hand over loads of loose change to people. So we have decided that I have got extra photo photosensitivity to the sun this holiday because I definitely did put sun cream on this. This is not me being stupid. My back had sun cream on it. It was only my leg, which was really badly burnt, that I never had sun cream. Um, but it healed very quickly due to a after sun that I'm going to show you because it is definitely my holiday favourite. It's this one here, it's got dolphin, it's blue and see when you put it in the fridge and you've got really bad sunburn. Oh, it's nice and it's got a nice smell to it as well. This is my outfit for going home. These jeans need rolled up because they look too much like a parent. Um, this white vest top, I've just kept the same jewellery on all holiday which is my silver hoops and this cat necklace. I'm just wearing this long bobble because my ponytail is tiny and this is the first time I've worn my friend's gown in a week 
So yeah, and I've had this since lunchtime. I haven't managed to drink it, so I'm gonna down it. But time for the checks, which is a bit that makes me a little bit nervous. So um that is us just waiting for our transfer to the airport now. Should be here any time. And this is goodbye, Grand Canaria. Forever for them, for a long time for me. So yeah. Surprise, surprise, our transfer is late. I knew this was gonna happen, but it just means less time to spend at the airport, which the airport is tiny anyway. We made it in a dodgy dodgy taxi. <laughs> It, it actually sounded like it was going to fall apart but we're in the airport now so on our way home we're all sitting individually on the plane for the first time and ever for me is sitting by myself nobody well there will be people next to me just not my mum or my dad and it's uh, heightened the flight anxiety severely I, I hate landing and I'm having to do it by myself I managed to get sitting next to both of them Flight. Somebody took a turn for the worst and medical assistance was required. But when passed, apart from that, thank you for watching the holiday vlogs. Normal content will resume soon.